Thousands in the valley hold mixed opinions on whether or not protests should be happening here. Local 23 Sydney Hernandez spoke to protest organizers who explained why they wanted to bring this issue home. Protests all around the valley have been surrounded by many demanding change. But some are asking, why bring the national issue to the valley? We don't know how to act, or some people don't know how to act when they, you know, meet a black person for the first time here in the valley, like in La Jolla, or in Brownsville, or anywhere else in the valley. Zach Borgia is one of the organizers who put together the Black Lives Matter protest in Edinburgh this weekend. I'm from Brownsville. I didn't have a real conversation with a black person more than two hours because of the lack of... Um, education and resources on, on part of you know our, our community when it comes to black issues, history, and struggle in the valley. I didn't have a real conversation more than two hours with a black person until I moved into college with my roommate. As the rest of the nation chants for police reform, here in the valley, Borgia says people need to be more educated on the issue. We need to go ahead and go to the protests, have our signs, chant our chants, then when we go home educate ourselves, have those really difficult conversations with our racist friends or inherently racist, you know, um, cultured grandparents, parents, uncles, aunts, cousins, whatever, plug into organizations and try and be the tangible effort you want to see. The majority of the protesters in the valley are in their early 20s and Borgia says they're not slowing down anytime soon. I'm very proud of our generation. I'm very proud and happy to see that my generation isn't afraid of calling out systematic racism when we see it. We're hoping that it's going to spark a conversation at home where it matters. The, the importance of this is education, educating those who may not know black people are here in the valley and we want to work with you. We want solidarity. We want it to be where people feel welcome here. Along with more education, Borgia says he hopes local universities will add extra resources for students to learn about black history and African American culture. In Edinburgh, Sydney Hernandez, Local 23 News. To date, there have not been any injuries or arrests of any protesters throughout the Rio Grande Valley.